Hi guys, welcome to the Student Chip YouTube channel. Uh, in this video, we are going to share with you practical tips on how you can get admission yes, into exactly. the university to study medicine and surgery. You know, medicine is one of the most competitive uh, courses to study at uh, in Nigerian University. Exactly, exactly. It's getting more competitive as the year goes by. Yeah, so, yeah. you know, most people they'll be like, okay, I want to study, even if it's not medicine, I want to study nursing, yeah. I want to study dentistry, so I want to study courses. exactly majorly medical courses. So the thing becomes more competitive as yeah, yeah. we progress. So because of this, there are a lot of challenges, you know, because I remember many years ago when I was trying to get into the College of Medicine, it was really challenging because it was one jam after another jam. And by the end of the day, when I got into university, you know, was really I, I had to actually look back and I discovered some you know, mistakes I, I was making, you know, things that would have made my journey to easier. medical school easier exactly. and all of that. Exactly. So that is just so that is just what this video is about. So we're going to share our experience with you. So make sure you like this video and subscribe okay. to this channel. Now, for somebody who, who wants to get into uh, medicine and surgery is applying to study to study medicine and surgery or other medical courses. What was the first advice you have for such uh, candidates? Well, my advice and to my own experience, what yes. I would tell the person is uh, first, yeah. you have to up your games in a uh, in your jam. You have to really up your games in your jam. Yes. So you really need to study really really hard because you know after secondary school, everybody are all like we have that thing in us that will make us to be like okay. Let me go and relax since I've passed my wire. What is jam? Jam is more than what you know. It's that's more than the, what that's you the, think. That's where the journey begins. Exactly. The journey that is where the journey begins. Jam, the jam is ammunition. Exactly. So you have to really, really study like hard. And even even if you know you are the person, the type of person that can't study at home. Because me, I knew myself then. I was mm. like this kind of person that if I sit down at home, yeah. I'll be poised to like take my phone and press, go and watch movie, yes, all those kind yes, of things. Yes. So I really, what I normally do is I told my parents. Okay, daddy and mommy, please, you people should help me so that I will begin a tutorials. Yeah, yeah, I will yeah. join a tutorial group or a tutorial, a lesson particularly. So, attending, so attending a tutorial for your jam examination actually helps. There are, there are other different things you can do during your jam examination. And one of them is studying with the jam syllabus. Exactly. Because a lot of students make the mistake of you know, just studying randomly for their examination. You know, as a student who is applying to study a competitive course, you need to get the jam syllabus so that you can study one topic after another topic exactly. to get a complete knowledge yeah so that is just it another thing now that can help you to gain admission is your jump score being very very high mm -hmm. once you are done with the whole stress in a writing you should make sure that your jump score is very very high you should be having something you should be tag your target when you are writing a jump is let me get 315 okay let me say if that 315 doesn't come by you should be around 290 something you are on the safe side yeah. You are really, really on the safe side once you have that high score. Okay. So that is where the grace comes in. That is where you begin, you begin that journey. So the question now is, okay, what about the student who does not get up to 300 or 290? Let's say the person is getting, the person got 250 in their jam. Is this possible to apply to medicine and surgery? Yeah, it's very, very possible. It's more than possible. Okay. So what you have to do next is, you know, change of institution. You have to do the change of institution then you have to look for an, an institution yeah. that actually accepts you in that your grade in that your grade level because there are institutions that are willing to accept you people do not know this they okay. make that mistake of you know sitting behind and be like oh god since i didn't get it now let me change my let me change my course okay, no yeah. what you have to do is change your institution so the, your jump score actually determines the kind of institution you are, you are going to apply to so for, for students who you know has 250, you have no business with most of the federal universities because in that kind of scenario, you have to apply to you know a state university. That is where you have a higher chance for admission. Exactly. Yeah. So that is just it. so your jump score is very very important. And if your jump score is not you know is not high enough, then you have to do a change of course to a less competitive university. So if you are not sure about if your jump score can get to medicine and surgery. Now let us know in the comments and we'll give you the best advice. Now moving on to the next point is your post CME. Yeah, post CME. After jam, what comes next? Yeah, it's yeah, not relaxation. Yeah, it's, it's not relaxation. So you have to go for your post CME. You apply. You, that is where you go to apply for your to write the post CME because after jam immediately. I don't think it even takes that up to two or three months. Yeah. You'll be going into to write your post CME. So this is where 
you actually have to look for some if you have someone inside the institution that you are going for yeah. you need to ask them please what are the syllables what yeah. is the syllables after the syllable comes the past question because you need to study according to the syllables yeah. then you take your past question on along with you you study this back and front you need to study like that your life depends on it yeah because when you study these past question and syllables you're able to know the format for the examination exactly. because knowing the format for the preceding exam is very important because every school has their own, own you know, scheme scheme and all of Methods, that their yes. school uses the jam subject combination some schools they ask questions on mathematics verbal and quantitative reasoning so it's when you know the format when you know what you are facing that is when you'll be able to prepare hard grade. Exactly. So what I'm trying to say is that make sure you, you know, prepare for your pre-CTME. We we'll have a video on how to pass your pre-CTME exam. You can check it up and you see the video on passing your pre-CTME exam. Yeah, that's all for now. Yeah, so by the time you're able to know to apply this uh, knowledge, you know, you'll be able to gain admission. We are hopeful you'll be able to get admission into the university. And we wish you all the best as yeah. you study for your pre-CTME and your jam and into any university of your choice. Yeah, so make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel. For now, bye-bye. Yeah.